and at the same time, I also have to admit to you, even as a man, even 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 as a happily married man, it was very powerful and very sexy. Greetings, y'all, and welcome to Seek Things Above TV. I'm your host, Luchi Cooney. So today we are going to be taking a look at Kirk Franklin's recent visit to Amanda Seals' podcast called The Small Doses Podcast. Now, since his visit, there's been a lot of speculation or conversation as to whether or not Kirk Franklin was actually flirting while he was on this podcast. So we're going to get into it in a second here. But before we do, y'all know what to do. If you like content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking this video, sharing this video, ringing the bell for notifications, doing all this stuff that lets YouTube know that you like content like this. So without further ado, let's get into this, man. So uh, Kirk Franklin went on the Amanda Seals podcast. uh, And since then, there have, have been just this conversation has been in the air, right, as to what exactly was he doing on this podcast? Because as we're going to see in a minute, there's a lot of weird things that are going on here. So I'm not going to prolong the intro, man. Let's get into it. Let's start seeing what is actually happening here. Cancers. Um, so we are here with the legendary, iconic. It's too much. It's too much. Do you think so? I think it's a little pushed. Why do you think it's a little pushed? I think you're pushing a little bit, but it's okay. Let's get into this good stuff. Yeah. It's a little pushed. Yeah. It's okay. We're here. I, y'all know I don't lie. So we're here with the legendary and iconic Kirk Franklin. I'm very happy to have you here. So it looks like whenever Kirk gets on some of these podcasts, he tries to be, I don't know what it is, if he's trying to be cool, be relatable, or just be chill. But then it comes off awkward at times, man. And and that's what I think we see a lot of in this podcast right here, where it's just like there's this awkward behavior or atmosphere that comes about by his 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 just his body language and the way he responds to the questions or just how he's carrying himself, man. Like the whole thing just seems a little weird. I don't necessarily think it's forced per se, but I think it's just weird. So let's uh, listen into what he had to say here. You don't lie at all. I was chastised on my way here, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Why? Because as a black man, I was late. <laughs> <laughs> Why gotta be as a black man? <laughs> and, no, can we and also- she gave me, And she gave it to, listen, let me tell you something. I have been in uh, this, this field for over 30 years. I want you to know that today was the first time in 30 years that I've ever had in my entire career. Really? Facts. A fellow creative. Like, correct you. No, 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 not correct <laughs> me. Take their belt off. Take their belt it's off. It's just because I have bass and, in my voice. And 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 basically Denzel me in glory. Yeah. That yeah. is yeah. wildly yeah. Yeah, offensive. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, that's what happened. I did not Denzel you in glory. That's what you did. You did. Let me, me tell you what I did. But 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 I'm happy to be here, scars and all. Let me tell you, <laughs> I asked this brother, uh-huh. okay? I said, I know you serve an on-time guy, <laughs> but are you an on-time man? Because, and I, because, and I lied and said, yes, I was. When I, <laughs> when I knew I was, but I was trying to impress her. She's Amanda. She's Amanda. She's Amanda Seals. I was trying to impress her. Thank you. And I appreciate you. But the most impressive thing is honesty. Because what it Ooh, meant facts, facts, was that I was facts. scheduling things based um, on you and your... If you had said to me, I am not really an on-time person, I would have scheduled things differently. And I knew that today was a very jam-packed day. I but I knew that we only had a small window of your time. I failed. I failed. No, you did not fail. But I want to let you know the context because... Okay. You all, what you also heard was disappointment because we, me, Jeremiah, like the Bible, that's literally his name, uh, <laughs> we were excited to have this combo. And at the same time, I also have to admit to you, even as a man, even, 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 even as a happily married man, it was very powerful and very sexy. I don't want to hear that. Okay, it mm-hmm. was. Okay, y'all, I don't know about y'all, man, but that was just really cringe to me man it was just kind of cringe and it just seemed very weird the whole thing and she doesn't seem comfortable with what how he's he's you know acting about this whole thing 
And just even just that statement that he made is just it's inappropriate. I'm sorry. At the very least, at the very least, this is an inappropriate statement that Kirk Franklin made to the host of this show, Amanda Seals. I think that that was inappropriate to say the least. And these are those issues that get men in trouble. That was just a poor choice of words, to say the least. And honestly, man, it seems revealing in terms of Kirk getting too comfortable on these interviews. So Kirk getting too comfortable, that's one thing, on these interviews. And it seems like the more and more he he appears on these interviews, he's starting to show more of his real personality and what he's really like. And I think that that's really what is problematic is that we're seeing that Kirk Franklin, as far as uh, maturity or even, I think, the thought to be to present oneself, you know, above reproach and to conduct oneself in a manner worthy of the Lord. Right. I think that that is lacking in how he presents himself in a lot of different settings. And this setting is no different. And in a lot of ways, this might be the most revealing of the whole thing is that he feels comfortable uh, telling a woman that uh, he finds her chastising him uh, very attractive. It's it's weird. It's weird. Really, really weird. Um, He needs to stop going on these interviews. I think Kirk needs to take a break. Stop going on these interviews and go figure out how to be a an actual man, a Christian man, and especially being that he's a gospel artist, right? Like people bring you in here because you're a gospel artist. What they want to see, or what they want to hear is not you telling them that they're sexy, right? They don't want to hear you telling them that they're sexy. They're there to have deep conversations about God with you and about the Christian faith with you. And by you going there and acting all crazy and talking all this mess when you go there, man, there's inappropriate, uh, these statements and you're just making the host, it it really looked like she's uncomfortable. I don't know if it's just y'all, if it's just me, but it looks like she's uncomfortable. All right. So you're going there making people feel uncomfortable. You're talking about things that are totally off why they brought you there right so for someone else they expect that from them but they don't expect that from a christian they don't expect that at all from a christian and you're going beyond what you know people know how to act as far as just gentlemen right like you're going beyond that you're not even being a gentleman in this instance you're being uh, a bit of a creep and so man i think kirk franklin needs to take a break from these interviews And honestly, man, like, I think he just needs to go somewhere and sit down with the Bible and get in a church that actually preaches the word. I don't know what church he goes to, so I'm not saying the church doesn't, but he doesn't appear to be getting rocked by the truths of God's word as far as it it talks about um, the character of men and how we should conduct ourselves as men in the body of Christ. Like, I'm just not seeing that at all. So with that being said, man, let me know y'all's thoughts on this whole situation. I thought this was pretty ridiculous, and I think it's just further proof of Kirk Franklin's lack of conviction to walk in holiness and to really represent God, and it's more of him being worldly again. You know, sadly enough, we're seeing another instance of Kirk being worldly and even more worldly than the world might be in situations like this. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from y'all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And if then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. All right? God bless y'all, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.